Today we need to get into people saying that Jungkook is now non-binary and then him getting shamed for it. We need to get into people saying that Jungkook and a specific company executive were together and that rumor. And then we need to talk about Jungkook addressing what he has waited so long to do. So you don't believe this is Dave Desai, hate it or not, make sure you subscribe to it with the notification bell on. Grab your double blends, hey spilling mug merch, and let's go. I think one thing that the fandom loves about BTS and their members is that they are planners. They will plan things for years at a time and it will be super elaborate things. Jungkook, for example, talked about what he wanted to create in terms of an album many years before the album was even created, and I think this made fans go crazy. So what happened and what did he say many moons ago? A little while ago, BTS members had a fun show where they posted on Weverse where other BTS members decided to come in and pretend to be interviewers and interviewed each member. What better news reporters there are than the members themselves who know everything about each other and know what the actual good questions are to ask. J-Hope was the one that interviewed Jungkook and asked Jungkook about his future plans to make music or to release a mixtape. Jungkook said that he wanted to release three main tracks in total and each of them have their own music video with their own choreography. He also asked for each of them to have their own style, so I'm assuming not just the same type of choreography or the same type of musical sound, but it'll be blended with different genres and things like that. He of course also mentioned in the interview that he doesn't just want to do one genre, but have various kinds. This clip has now resurfaced and people are comparing what Jungkook actually ended up doing and he did exactly what he said. He ended up releasing seven 3D and Standing Next To You, which all sound completely different, have very different choreographies, and Standing Next To You is definitely more R&B, while 7 and 3D is more pop, so he definitely did try different genres. And I would say each of those music videos had songs had progressively cho harder choreography. This is beautiful because when you do have a really clear vision of what you want in a music video, it makes it so much easier to actually go and do it. He knew exactly what he wanted and he probably even had this vision for each of the music videos in his head before he even started the promotion or even making the album. There's of course a lesson here for everybody that if you do want something and you have a very clear vision on what it is that you want, it makes it a lot easier for you to go for it. Stay true to your dream and keep at it. And also not give up because you know exactly what you're looking for. This interview was done back in 2021 and then of course he released his music video in 2023. So it's been two years in the making that he has had this vision in his head now and now it's finally out and he's able to look back on it and say what he was waiting on is exactly what he ended up doing. Of course this is the tough thing about art because you can have a clear image of what you want in your art and what you imagine your art to look like. However other people are going to have different visions, also make up rumors and portray you in a light that you didn't intend to have yourself look like, or maybe he did. But there's a rumor going around that Jungkook is non-binary. This rumor started because in the Standing Next to You music video that Hybe had agreed and put out, Jungkook was seen with a dancer who identified as non-binary. The dancer's name was Emma Louise, and people think that since Jungkook hired this dancer to perform in the music video, that this means that Jungkook is either non-binary himself or he's a supporter of the non-binary community. People also think that since Hybe had put the stamp of approval on it, it must mean that Hybe is trying to say something here about Jungkook. This is always such a strange assumption that people have of other supporters in the LGBT community because they think that those people who support the LGBT community are part of the community themselves, when in reality you can just be allies or you know support a community. I don't have to be an animal myself to support animal rights, and of course Jungkook is a supporter of the LGBT community. However, then there's other moments where Jungkook would be wearing clothes that is a crop top or wearing makeup and those things, and then people think that he himself identifies as non-binary. This is pretty controversial idea because I know there's a lot of people who think when a straight person or presumably straight person starts to act in things that seem like it's part of the LGBT community, people think that that person is either queer baiting or appropriating. However, this is not always the truth because I think it's easier for the general public to look at someone who is straight and see them act in either a LGBT or non-binary way and then it's easier for that person or for the general public to start accepting the community. Junko wearing crop tops and doing those things have made it almost seem acceptable for men in public to start wearing them. And that helps LGBT boys who want to wear crop tops, and it's not seen as a big deal. People are also scared that Jungkook might get attacked or hurt in the military due to him being seen as non-binary and those sorts of things. However, if Jungkook is showing that he is very masculine and strong and in a leadership position in the military, I really don't think anyone is really going to come after him or attempt to attack or hurt him, especially those soldiers who are at a lower rank than him. I also don't think that Hybe exposed
exposed anything about Jungkook. And I don't think Jungkook does identify as non-binary. We have seen his members call Jungkook he many times. And I understand that just because someone might go by he, that it doesn't mean that they're non-binary as things like cultural acceptance need to exist first before these idols can reveal themselves. However, the internet has made it seem like if you don't identify with these sorts of things that you're a bad person. A lot of people who want Jungkook to identify as non-binary are usually doing it because they want more non-binary representation. But you can find that elsewhere if that person is not Jungkook. There's also been a lot of harassment sort of going on. People have been sort of taking moments of Jungkook and Scooter Braun and making really inappropriate comments towards them. And I mean really inappropriate. Some people were saying that Jungkook participates in things like payola and that means he is paying to get his music charted on the charts and paying for promotion. However, a lot of these accusations don't really make a lot of sense because a lot of artists pay for promotion and that sort of stuff. It's very common practice here in the US. Even going as far as saying Jungkook committed very sexual acts in order to get charted or get radio play here in the US. Accusations like he did some inappropriate things with Scooter Braun to even some fans saying that they saw Jungkook appear at Scooter Braun's apartment doing God knows what. These accusations are not good and really do fall under harassment because accusing someone of doing something that they didn't do and hey look there's nothing wrong with using what you got to get ahead I don't hate that at all and everyone has their own hustle however that's not how the industry works and to be honest I really don't think I've ever heard it actually working out that way like I can't think of a specific case in which someone actually did sleep their way to the top like any of the big names that you hear I don't think any one of them has ever slept their way to the top they just didn't need to because at the end of the day if they were to have done that, that would mean that they have no talent. And what producer, label, CEO, whoever is going to risk their reputation just to promote someone and then sleep with them and that's it? Because other people, investors, fans, they look at these CEOs and producers and they think that everything the producer and CEO puts out is going to be quality, top-notch stuff. If the producer and CEO start abusing that trust with their fans, investors, whoever, then those people are not going to be committed to believing that the CEO and producer produces great stuff anymore. And that just hurts hurts their business. Producers and CEOs don't put money behind talent or a specific artist unless they believe that person is actually doing a very good job or is very talented and in turn deserving of those promotions or they believe that if they were to promote the artist that the artist is then going to make the producer and CEO a lot of money. Jungkook has no doubt made HYBE and all of the companies that are a part of HYBE a lot, a lot of money. And so for these producers and CEOs to throw away potentially millions or billions of dollars for some sex, like it just doesn't make sense. Jungkook no doubt is deserving of his promotion and his work. I also want to note that every artist team has their own promotion and their methods. You might sit there and think, oh, well, it's unfair that my favorite artist isn't getting the same promotion as John Cook is, but the label that your favorite artist is under or the specific method in which it may be the same label is choosing to promote the artist is going to be different. And I believe the specific method that John Cook was promoted with was experimental. However, don't quote me on that. So no, John Cook and Scooter Braun were not at each other's apartment doing the nasty. And if they were at each other's apartment, it was just to make music or come up with a strategy to promote the music. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.